Rent Smart Project Digital PMO consists of all the modules that exist in the Rent Smart Project suite. This can be used by any owner organization, PMC or EPC to manage the full life cycle of a project. So for monitoring the performance of a project, we have identified 10 parameters which need to be monitored and controlled as the project progresses through the various phases of its life cycle, which includes the schedule, the progress, cost, the deliverables of engineering, procurement, construction, monitor the risk, the issues, health and safety and environment, quality, resources, interfaces between the different contractors, change management and recording the lessons learned. Now to present this information on a portfolio level, we provide you a portfolio level dashboard which shows you all the projects that you are handling and the status of each project as a snapshot and on each project you get the details of these 10 parameters. Now from this portfolio, when you go to a specific project, you can see the health indicators of these parameters and also the overall progress which also includes the engineering, procurement, construction, commissioning, manufacturing uh, progress against the plan versus actual, the S-curve and also indicates what are the list of milestones which have been achieved which are remaining and also the backlogs. Based on the current trend and the progress of the project you can also see a look ahead for the next three months so that you see where your project will be looking at the current trend in the next three months period. You can also look at your budgets, your Gantt chart and also the targets uh, in your project. Now, the same information can be presented on a plot plan where you could see the various packages in the project and each of these statuses can be identified there and you can see the package uh, status or you can see it on a process flow diagram, the status of the various equipments and packages in it. And you can also see this on a GIS map for getting a better uh, view or uh, getting the details of each package. Now, on drilling down into each of these packages or into this project, you can identify the root cause due to which a particular milestone is delayed by leading it right up to the deliverable. And also the in the health parameter indicate what are the things which are not going okay wherein you manage the project by exception so what this means is you can see in the traffic light you have different colors the one which is green which means it is within control which means it is uh, there is no attention required whatever turned yellow which means it's an alert where it is gone it is deviated to a certain extent and due to which it is turned yellow and you can assign a project manager to take charge and do the necessary preventive or corrective action and bring it back to green and it goes to red which means it's really gone out of hand and you need to take action immediately and this can get escalated to a project director who needs to get involved and do get the fix done and bring it back to green. Now you can also see the overall progress. So you are basically managing only exceptions. So you only focus on what's not going okay so that you can stay focused on fixing those. Now the information that is captured and updated on these health indicators are coming from real-time information, which means the progress is captured by roll-up, safety is captured from digital forms, the project milestones are the schedule updates, the quality risk statutory uh, approvals are coming from the document list or the drawing list. Now all information is captured from a digital data which is captured from the source and update and, and based on the information the status is updated. Now once you see a slipping then we also provide you a what if analysis to do your forecasting. So when you see that current trend is there is a delay 
you can indicate the system will give you various options by which you increase the number of resources and based on that you can see how is the trend looking at in terms of catching up within a certain period so this helps you to do forecasting much better and makes it more intelligent now there are other reports also that you can generate or you can produce like statutory approvals which are coming from the drawing list again it is categorized as which of these drawings are required for construction which are required for commissioning and operations etc similarly you can see the status of the land acquisition on a map so that you very clearly know what has been acquired and what is still pending and what all challenges you face and all these are seen on a real time basis now the system also provides you site progress trends based on the actual construction data it gives you the commodity progress in terms of concreting erection excavation etc you can also see what is the commodity level progress and also you can also do quality processes through the system which means the request for information forms the stop work instruction etc can be captured on digital forms and then you can produce dashboards uh, such as this from the data that is captured from the source and also safety processes like permit to work incident reporting etc can also be captured from the site on a mobile or on a web browser and from that you can generate the dashboards that you need for safety so all the information which are required for monitoring the performance of the project are captured from the source and updated now the key thing is how is this information getting in because these dashboards are looking very nice but if this were to be manually updated it's not going to be a system which is practical to be used so i'm going to dwell into how does the data flow into the dashboard from the various sources so first thing that we did is the way this the whole project is structured is that you have a high level schedule we call it as master schedule which is either defined by the client or by the the mutually agreed with the client which goes from level 1 level 2 to level 3 or level 4 and then you have the detailed schedule of engineering which is a master deliverable list your procurement schedule construction commissioning and um, uh, manufacturing schedule and the cost information which is a cost breakdown structure all this is integrated inside smart project and it creates an integrated plan of schedule and cost and you can drill down right up to the last activity so rent smart project allows you to do planning up to the last level so it's a last level planner and from that it provides you a to do list which list out the activities that are to be done by each and every resource or each and every resource under different stakeholders from this plan information it provides a plan dashboard and the plan reports and also it sends notifications to people based on the plan based on their to do list and when work is done the system captures the actuals or captures the progress and then from that information it updates a dashboard now when this information is extended across you know in a real life situation the engineering is done at different centers in the head office the procurement is done at the head office and project controls are done so you have your deliverable list of engineering the procurement list and the e tendering facility capturing the procurement status and the risk and progress etc from project controls and from the site using field data update on mobile or tablets you are able to capture the daily progress reports the rfi the hse logs the quality checklist issues and snags and also construction quantities can be updated from site and also you can integrate it with drones to actually capture the image as well as the quantities from there and all this information is the input to the digital pmo system which captures all this data and then it integrates with the primavera p6 and ms project or excel which is the planning system and then the cost information from the erp such as oracle sap uh, microsoft dynamics or uh, infor or any of those erp systems and all this data is assimilated and then the respective dashboards for the leadership the project team and the client are published based on their specific requirement so finally what happens is when the project is closed out the as built data along with the indexes of the uh, tag numbers are exported or can be populated back to a maintenance management system or a cmms system at the handover and then you can close out the project in a project you have a lot of forms which are used to capture data from the site 
So this for the field management, you can digitize all these forms and create digital forms using Adobe Professional and the data inside the form can be linked to the database and also the list of values can be provided so that people can, you know, from the site can update it either on the mobile or on the browser. And these forms can also be sent on a workflow so that the user can update these information, you can get approvals and based on this information, you can generate all the quality forms and the safety forms and all the different types of forms that you use from the site can be updated through this. Now, the system architecture is such that every data is captured uh, the, uh, from the source and this data is stored in an Azure SQL database. And from this data, the system provides the information and that information can be used uh, uh, and presented as dashboard either using Power BI or other uh, applications for dashboarding like Tableau. So it is a completely data driven uh, system where data is captured and stored on Azure SQL and from that information you can produce all your dashboards. Now what is the benefits that you can get is first and foremost thing is since it integrates all the stakeholders in the project you get absolute transparency on what is the plan, what is the actual and also who is responsible for what. So everybody knows what is to be done, when it has to be done and also the impact of what has not been done is known to everyone. And you can set rights and of access so that you can have control access to different people for this information. All the information is captured from source, so it's real time. So what, what you see is what is the status system is capturing the information with necessary evidence so you get to see the information on a real-time basis and the accuracy of information is extremely high because you have preloaded the weightages so when activity gets completed you earn that progress so you re remove the subjectivity in progress information as well as the statuses and also most data will be updated with necessary evidences and also data is captured from the source the status is absolutely accurate. Since the system is hosted on a SaaS uh, environment and on the cloud, it's available 24 by 7, it's available on the mobile and uh, or on the browser uh, and you can have access to it anytime, anywhere. It's easy to use, it is very simple to learn, it can be, you know, anybody can be taught, so it is very easy to adapt and the system is highly flexible, which means it can be configured to your best practices that you follow though the system comes with the best practices of project management or project control which is as specified by the global standards still if you have any specific processes you can you know configure it exactly to match to the requirements of your organization so with this trench smart project digital pmo is a system for any organization which is doing projects which who wants to monitor and control the project to ensure that every project is delivered on time, on budget with 100% quality.